<clears throat> third time's charm okay hi everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Catherine, and today's video is going to be reviewing some of the, the, the empty products that i've had um since my last empties video which i'll link up here um i think i did my last empties video in march end of march um so basically some of the products that i've been using up with makeup skincare body care um so if that's something you want to watch then stick around Here's my big old bin of empties. Um, so basically we're just gonna be going through each one, kind of giving my reviews, what I like, what I didn't like, would I repurchase it? Um, so yeah, let's just get started. If you hear anything, that is my cat trying to get into the doorway. <laughs> So starting off, I actually just finished this yesterday. This is Foxy Babe um, Dirty Gal Dry Shampoo with Biotin, where it's sulfate and paraben free. Um, I picked this up at Marshalls, as you can see. And this has a really, really lovely, lovely scent. Um, I would definitely pick this back up if I didn't already have tons of dry shampoo already. Um, but if I see this at Marshalls again, I probably will pick it up. All right, well, I don't know if you thought you'd be seeing deodorant in this video, but here it is. Um, this is the Clinical Secrets, uh, Clinical Strength Secret, uh, the Stress re stress Response 48 Hour Invisible Solid. Um, this does have aluminum inside of it, um, and it is an antiperspirant. Um, I don't know if I noticed anything different with like it helping with any sort of antiperspirant it did smell nice for sure um i i have hyperhidrosis hyperhidrosis meaning i sweat an incredible amount even when there's nothing to sweat about um so i'm always on a deodorant journey to try to figure out what deodorant is going to be the best for me so this definitely did smell really nice and it smelled great throughout the day i just don't think i noticed anything antiperspirant wise if that makes any sort of sense <laughs> um my next product is a so this is a beauty sponge and this actually is the um what was it the profusion um they have like a wild desert collection I think that's what it's called. I can't remember. And this this little sponge came in like a little silicone cactus case, which I absolutely love. That's actually why I picked up the sponge because the case was so cute and it's perfect for travel. Um, this sponge was actually really great though. I mean, it, it's firm, but when you wet it, it's, it's super soft. Um, I do like the shape of it, how it kind of comes to a tip at here. So it's easier to get under the eyes. Um, yeah, it's kind of ergonomical with the little divots in there and whatnot um i i basically i there was nothing wrong with this sponge i really liked it it was just old you know needed a new one so i would recommend this and they're really inexpensive um profusion is actually a really great line um it's i've seen it at walmart and i think they have their own website as well and a lot of things are inexpensive but also like super great quality too which is you know kind of the best of both worlds Uh, this next product is the I Do Care Peel Lit Exfoliating Vitamin C Treatment Pads. Um, I think I picked this up on Amazon, if I'm not mistaken. I will have everything linked down below. Um, some of them are affiliated links, so if you do purchase from them, I do get a small commission from it at no charge to you. I really, really, truly appreciate it if you do shop through my links, but yet it's not necessary. Um, but this was from Amazon, and what it was is little... I don't want to call them cotton pads. Um, they're like the thinner little pads with um, the liquid already <laughs> inside of them. Um, and so I, I use them on my face. I kind of used them on my decolletage, on my shoulders and stuff like that. Um, I don't know because I didn't use them as consistently as I probably should have to see any sort of difference um but they were it is a nice little convenience with it already on a pad um it states that because it does have um AHAs PHAs and pineapple extract to help gently exfoliate brighten and smooth for oh so glowy skin in one swipe so you're getting a lot of benefits I just didn't do it as consistently as I probably should have 
and I don't see why you couldn't use this on other areas of your body too. Um, so yeah, I mean, I liked it. Glad to have used it. I would recommend being more consistent with it to actually see um, some sort of progress. Uh, but yeah. Here is another um, Marshalls pickup. This is Cremo All Season Body Wash number two in the Sage and Citrus. Um, so a nice kind of unisex smelling body wash. Um, it says a revitalizing combination of bright mandarin, dry herbs, and white cedar. And I thought this smelled like absolutely amazing, um, really fresh smelling. Again, is it a revolutionary body wash? Probably not, but it sure smelled nice. Um, and it was uh, from Marshall, so it was cheaper. I think um, I picked it up for six bucks. They say compare at nine, but I don't necessarily always uh, trust their comparison prices because um, sometimes they're a lot more than what they say. Now this is one of my all-time favorites and I will continue to repurchase this because I love it. Um, this is from the Inky List. This is their Oat Cleansing Balm. Um, Inky List you can find at Sephora. It is honestly one of the more cheaper, um, or I should say inexpensive brands at Sephora. I think this retails for maybe like 10 to 11 to $12 or something like that. And so this is my first step in a two-step cleanser. I like it because it's in a tube so you're not sticking your fingers in some cleansing balm at night and then like making a mess out of everything like trying to close it up. So this is super great in the morning, at night. I will continue to repurchase this until or if I find something better. Um, but at this point this is my my holy grail of cleansing balms at this point. So yeah, I definitely will be repurchasing this. Kind of an unexpected empty. Um, this is a peeling foot mask. Um, this is a uh, Korean um, skincare brand and if you can see on the little picture right here basically you get these little sock booties um, and what you do is you put them on your feet for so long and they basically slough off over about I would say a week to two week period they it's like your foot is just peeling quite peeling foot mask like your foot is just peeling off like you're a snake and you are sloughing off um the, the process is kind of long but it is kind of cool to see and your foot feels amazing afterwards um I know that this is like there there's a more popular uh foot peeling mask I can't quite remember the name of it. I think this is probably just an offshoot or a dupe of it, but this one works really well too. I think you can pick this up on Amazon or a lot of different types of, um, you know, like Ulta, places like that. Um, but yeah, I really like it because I live in Arizona. Um, I live in Tucson. So a lot of the times we're wearing sandals and it's dry. And so you're feet like crack and get nasty and whatnot so this is a really nice product to have to kind of like smooth out your your um your foot again your your, your feet skin I don't, I don't know how to call it um i would caution though if you are somebody who likes to do um pedicures i would probably do this uh, towards the end of when you're getting your next pedicure um because it it's, it doesn't look pretty for those two weeks but after everything is peeled it looks great um so yeah i would schedule around this basically if like you have events to go to schedule schedule around this um another product that i used up is the josie marin whipped argan oil ultra hydrating body butter um this was super nice i love the josie marin um uh, stuff um she has kind of a wide range of things and like for makeup and stuff i don't think i've ever really tried her makeup outside of a lipstick that i really like it's like a plumping lipstick but i think that got discontinued um but she's more into the um body care side of things in my opinion mm -hmm. and so this is what it looks like has a really nice kind of sweet citrusy smell um it did a great job i kind of used it maybe once every two nights um, before I got to bed. The smell is great. It really, you know, made your skin supple and lotiony and, you know, all, all those great things that you need during the summer. 
Um, I have finished up another one of these. This is the Christophe Robin. Um, that's the French side. Cleansing volumizing paste with pure Razul clay and rose extract. Um, so basically it helps with lifted roots and fuller lengths. Um, so what this is, I don't know if you're going to be able to see any of this. It's kind of a paste. It's like this kind of gritty type of paste. You, um, you know, grab some out, you kind of lather it on your roots and it is supposed to help kind of like detoxify the scalp and um you know give you more volume i think this is like the second or third maybe fourth tube of or tub i should say tub tub of this um that i've gone through um i actually do have a code with christoph robin that i will share on the screen somewhere here i think it's katherine 15 katherine 25 something like that um so i will share that if you want to get some money off it is affiliated link um, and I they have a lot of great products so um, and I definitely would recommend this because I have very kind of like I have medium like what is the diameter hair um, but it is very flat and very I have a lot of it so it kind of gets weighed down so this really does help um, add some volume to the roots all right the next thing I have is the e.l.f. Dewy Coconut Setting Mist. Um, I really, really, really love these. The um, They have a, this is the dewy one. They have a like matte one. They have a few different types of, you know, whatever skincare concerns or whatever you're looking for. So if you want a dewy, get the dewy one. Um, these are like, I have like less than $10 or I won't even say less than that, but these are really great setting um sprays refreshing sprays um i love when you can find something affordable that you really love um they're kind of dupes of some of the higher end um sprays as well so if you're wanting to save some money then i would go the elf route um my next hair care product is the ultra by use me i by we i don't know i can't read that like little tiny print right there um but this is the eight and one plus cbd multi-purpose nutrient mist and styling aid um so basically it uh you could use it as okay here it is enhanced body manageability detangle first writing environmental protection balance moisture add nutrients refreshed hair add shine and reduce stress applied towel, towel dried hair everywhere in style. So I did like this. I kind of used it as a, um, after shower conditioner. I've kind of stopped using conditioner while in the shower. Cause like I said, it kind of weighs my hair down. Um, so I like to use something like this after and, um, it was really nice. I didn't notice anything like super magnificent with it. Um, I actually did notice once you kind of get down to the bottom of it, it's a little bit hard because the product kind of like congeals almost um into more of a conditioner so i noticed that the spray nozzle kind of stopped working after a while and you had to kind of open it up you know tap it on your hand to get it out not a huge deal but um maybe like a, a product functioning update could happen so you can actually use the spray nozzle or just get rid of the spray nozzle altogether um but yeah it i mean it it was okay i don't think i'd repurchase it but I mean, I, I was glad to have it well while I did. And I think I got this in probably one of my Allure Beauty Box or BoxyCharm subscription boxes. I can um, link the playlist up above of some going through the my subscription box playlist and items that I get each month. The next product I have was from Laneige. This is their Cream Skin Milk Oil Cleanser. It says it melts makeup and impurities um so again i really enjoy that it has a pump top so you're not like scooping anything out with your fingers um this says it's oil to melt milk to cleanse this cleanser gently melts away makeup and impurities for a clean moisturizing feeling that's not greasy um so i liked it i don't think i'll repurchase it though i originally got it because i got like a trial size and i and i I enjoyed that and I was like, oh, I'm going to get the big size. But then it like after using it for a while, it doesn't necessarily like I didn't notice it being able to get like all of your mascara and stuff off. Like it just it was OK, but I like the inky list um, oat balm better. 
I think that does a better job of getting away more, more things um, with the first cleanse. Um, this next one is from Espa. This is their Optimal Skin Pro Cleanser. So it's a multi-use enzyme cleanser, exfoliator, and mask for radiant skin. So I actually have a code with Espa as well, um, and they sent me this to review. Again, I will put the code somewhere here. It's always down below in my description as well. Um, so this was actually a really kind of unique product. Um, it is very, it's a gel cleanser. Um, it also has tiny little, um, I don't, like they're kind of like beads, but they, 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 uh, melt the beads melt so it's like you kind of exfoliate it gently exfoliates for like a few little rounds and then it will just kind of melt away and you know add to more of the cleansing part of it um let's see what else does it have moringa seed extracts helps to cleanse aiding the removal of makeup while jojoba spheres that's spheres and pumpkin enzymes help buff away dead skin cells and impurities leaving the skin with a radiant and healthy looking glow um so yeah i really did enjoy this i enjoyed the um the packaging of it i think it's kind of cute with like the speckled little cap um so yeah i don't know if I'm going to necessarily run out and pick this up right away because um, I have a ton of cleansers that I need to get to, but I did enjoy this. It had a nice kind of, if I remember correctly, kind of a citrusy scent too. So not only is it nice on your face and it feels nice, but it also is really nice smelling as well. Let me let Pancake out real quick before he starts tearing stuff up. Okay, so some other things that I didn't necessarily use all the way up, but they are definitely probably... That's Pancake on the scratch post. Um, they are probably uh, um, expired just because they are mascaras. Um, the first one being the Voluminous Noir Balm by L'Oreal. So that's what that looks like. You can kind of see kind of a silicone bristle. This one was okay. Um, I, I prefer a silicone bristle. I like the smaller because I have hooded eyes, so it's much easier to not get everywhere. Um, the formula was kind of neat with it being a balm. I don't remember it being like, I'm trying to remember. Um, it was kind of like fine. It was just fine. I didn't notice any like super issues with like smudging or flaking or anything like that. I think um, that it definitely smudged after a while, so it didn't do it immediately, which is nice, but because it's a balm, um, I, I just noticed I have very oily um, eyelids, so it kind of gets all over the place. Um, the next one was the Wear Beauty, uh, I don't know the name of it, but it's their only mascara. Um, so that is what that one looks like. This is a little bit too big for me. Um, the formula was okay. Again, I noticed that it kind of smudged and flaked um, throughout the day, so not my favorite, um, as well as this is just getting to be expired. And then the last one is this Blink Ultra, Vol Ultra Volume Tubing Mascara. And I can tell you, I'm not a tubing mascara fan. Not that it doesn't look nice. Um, it actually looks really nice. If I can open it. Um, but it coats your, oh my gosh, I can't, why can't I get this open? Okay, you don't, you don't get to see the one because I, I can't get it open. Um, so what tubing mascara does is it quite literally puts these like fibered tubes around your, your eyelashes, which actually, I mean, it looks really nice and it is helpful in where it doesn't smudge, it doesn't flake, but it's really hard to get off. I've noticed. Um, so you're supposed to like put warm water and you almost kind of like gently almost take the tubes off. But I always find that I can never get them all off. I wake up in the morning, I still have like raccoon eyes because the, you know, it's still coming off at night. So I'm just not a huge fan of tubing mascaras. Um, so what basically I'm going to do is I'm going to send this into you for me, which again, I will put my video up here, what this is. They have a recycling program now for mascaras where that you can send in, um, used and old mascaras and they will clean them out and they will use the wands to help like, um, with animals doing like animal cleanup and stuff like that. So that's where these are going to go as well as, 
Um, probably most of these products I will box up because they have a recycling um, program that will help clean out some of these products and recycle the, um, the, the outer packaging in a responsible manner because unfortunately uh, Tucson does not have a recycling program anymore so these won't be able to be recycled appropriately. So in my next shipment to them of things that I'm going to send in to resell, I will also send these in so I can, you know, recycle them appropriately. Um, my next product, I did a reels of this. I will put it down below. This is Lolly. I got a little trial size of uh, some products from them. Lolly stands for living out loud. Hold on, I have another product from them. Let's see. Uh, I can't quite remember what Lolly stands for. Um, but this is their chamomile, lavender, tonic, calming, and cleansing micellar water. Um, I lost the cap to it, as you can see. So this is basically um, kind of like, again, another little first cleanse um, thing. Wasn't my favorite. The, um, the smell is nice, but the product itself um, just didn't do enough of what I wanted for it to do um, cleansing-wise. But the other product that I have, this is the Tea Seed Elixir Balancing Beauty Oil. So this is another little trial size that I got. This actually I really did like. Um, I wish it would have been bigger, um, but this I picked up at a, I think it was FabFitFun sale. Um, so if you're not familiar with FabFitFun, it is a quarterly subscription box. And then between the, subs between the boxes, they also have like pop-up shops or sales shops or whatever and you can pick up some products so this in its full form um this full size form I want to say it's like $42 something something crazy um but from FabFitFun I think I picked it up for eight because I really liked it so I got a full size bottle of this for eight dollars opposed to $42 um so really cool and this is just to, um, you can use it AM, PM to clean damp skin or dry hair. So that's kind of cool. I like where it's like a multi-purpose type of product. So this I already did repurchase. This is from Pharmacy. This is one of my um, more preferred skincare brands. This is the Filling Good Hyaluronic Acid Plumping Serum. Um, this, I think, came in one of my boxy charms as well. Um, and I want to say I've already purchased another one. I can't quite remember. Um, but this is something where it says a skin plumping micro filling serum that hydrates and smooths the look of fine lines. This powerful formula features advanced multi-molecular hyaluronic acid designed to work more eff effectively with the skin along with amino acids and vegan collagen pep peptides to deliver visibly plump, healthy looking skin. Use it AM and PM. So I really did enjoy this as kind of like a, you know, skin prep in the morning as well as kind of a cleansing step at night all right so i got all these little things um these are as you can see a little minis that i got so i got a, a chemical peel um probably maybe in like april or mayish um and so with that came they give you these little um trial size stuff of what they recommend to use afterwards this is from the company pca skin um, so basically I used all of them up after my, my chemical peel, but, um, this was the hydrator plus broad spectrum SPF 30. We have the rebalance. I think this was the moisturizer. Uh, we have the collagen hydrator, the hydrating serum and then the facial wash. So again, not something that I would necessarily pick up um, if I wasn't getting a skin peel, but I think the PCA was actually the brand of the chemical peel. So of course they wanna promote some of their skincare products. Um, definitely more of a like med spa type of, of brand, if you will, opposed to something you can find at Sephora or Ulta or anything like that. Um, I mean, they were fine. I didn't notice any issues with them. Um, I don't even know what the price point is for full size ones, but this all came as a set and it was included in the cost of the chemical peel and something I used up. Um, next little body care kind of multi-purposed uh, product was this Kanuka CBD healing skin balm. Um, so this is in the, it's this natural scent. 
which does smell very natural. I, I don't know how else to <laughs> describe it. Um, but it's it's basically made of beeswax, shea butter, grapeseed oil, hemp seed oil, distilled water, rose hip, vitamin E, orange peel butter, and coconut oil, and manuka honey. Uh, CBD isolate and potassium sorbate and grapefruit extract. So what is really nice is that I know what all of those things are. I can read all of those things, which means, you know, it's more of a natural product and there's not as many chemicals in there. Um, this was a very thick type of balm. Um, so it's something that you would like kind of scoop up and you, you'd want to warm it up. Um, I have used it on my face before, like my smile line area and chin can get really dry and cracky. Um, so I used it for that, which was nice. I kind of used it for like my elbows, for my cuticles, for my cr dry cracky feet before uh, using the, the foot peel that I talked about. Um, so this is a really nice product and I, I don't know if I notice anything with the CBD part of it because I don't have, um, I don't know, I don't, I don't really notice the difference with CBD. Maybe it's just because it's a very small active ingredient in it, um, opposed to something that's like just CBD oil. Um, but this was really nice. Again, I think I picked this up from a box charm drop shop. So for a, you know, not super expensive price, definitely not full retail, which is what I love. Let's talk about some makeup products. First being the, uh, oh, there goes my light. All right, so my light turned off because I need to charge it. So we're just gonna film the rest of this with no light. Um, oh, now things are dropping. Okay, so the first one is these, uh, these, uh, this Huda Beauty Silk Balm Honey Kiss. Really, really like this. This is, I think, my second tube of this. It's a very balmy type of, it's not, I, I wouldn't call it glossy, but it is balmy and it gives your lips this very nice, um, glow without being like sticky so i would definitely repurchase this again so next one is the a very mini size of the nars light reflecting foundation this is in mont blanc um this was in a few of my shop my stashes i still don't necessarily have an opinion about this which probably tells you something that it's like Maybe I don't necessarily love it so much if I don't have an opinion, so that means I probably shouldn't buy a full size. That is my thought process on that. Um, but there are some people who absolutely love it. I just am not, it, I'm just like, okay, it's okay. That's it. I actually finished up a few concealers. Um, one of them is in my current shop, my stash, so I will keep that until uh, my next empties video until I can review all of my products for my July's shot my stash, which I can link up here as well. Um, but this is the color pop faux filter. No, no filter concealer. And I have mine in fair 04. I was able to use all of this up. I had to take the stopper out. As you can see, if you're not familiar, there's like a little stopper on these and you can just like get a, um, uh, what is it some tweezers pop it off and so you can actually get a lot of the products also the little doe foot came off on it as well so I had to get like really creative with a um with a brush uh another color pop item this is I don't even know what type of gloss this is um because it's like worn off but it is ticklish from color pop and it kind of has some like blue purple reflex in there and it's like a really pale pink um gloss this was nice um i've just had it around forever i mean i'm sure i could like really scrape out some of that too but i'm i've, I've moved on from that um so but i do like color pops glosses um i think they're really nice and they're really inexpensive uh some uh, I think I may have uh, shared about this before in my other MDs video, but this is the Raw Sugar Natural Hand Wash. Um, and this particular scent was almond milk, manuka honey, and oatmeal. And what I love about these is that you can actually get refill sets for it in a um, bigger container and you can just refill these up so you're not having to throw these away. Um, so yeah, I really like the Raw Sugar brand because every... I think every soap that you buy, they donate a soap to somebody in need. So love that cause. 
Um, this is the Coconut Sugar Sea Whip Body Cream by Marisi for Anthropology Beauty. Um, first of all, I love this packaging. Um, this was a really nice lotion. Again, coconut sugar had a very nice, like not overly sweet scent, um, but a really nice lotion. Again, I'm, I have tons of body stuff that I don't, I don't use as much. I just kind of like forget that I have it. And so I'm trying to be more intentional about all of my body stuff and lotions and whatnot. So that's why you're seeing a lot more in here. Cause I was like, I need to get through them. Um, but this is nice. Uh, if you're, I'm sure it's, I, I can't remember it being any better or worse than any other lotion. And I figure if it's at anthropology, it might be a little bit more expensive. Um, but the packaging is really, really pretty. So if you want something nice that does its job, that has nice packaging, that has a nice scent, might be your gal. This is Tara de Mars Gel Body Cleanser. Um, it has coffee extract for an antioxidant, verbena, um, which tones, and then aloe vera, which moisturizes. I it smells nice. It smells nice and clean. Um trying to think I think it was a very long time ago that I used this up probably at the end of March right after the end of my other video so I can't quite remember oh yeah no rosemary that's what I'm smelling too has coffee and rosemary infusion with verbena oil um, together they tone purify and protect the skin while aloe vera nourishes and softens it leaves a clean refreshed and toned skin without drying it um, I can't really remember Again, not running out to repurchase it, but I do think I got this in like a boxy charm, one of my subscription boxes. I enjoyed it because I used it all up, um, but again, not something I'm running out to repurchase. But I do love the smell of rosemary. So there's that. Coming up on some more cleansers. This is the Alpine Beauty Wildcrafted Actives. This is the Plant Genius Creamy Bump creamy bubbling cleanser. So it comes in this nice glass bottle. Um, it says this luxurious antioxidant rich lather refreshes and refines as it cleans in superstar exfoliants and natural hydrators suitable for all skin types. If I remember this correctly, I felt like this one kind of dried me out a little bit. Um, kind of give you that like tight feeling after washing your face, which isn't necessarily what you want. Um, uh, again, I used it all up, so it couldn't have been too bad, but I do, if I am remembering correctly, I think it kind of like tightened up. So again, not running out to repurchase that. Um, this I just finished. This is the Beauty Crop Melon Jelly Dewy Primer XXL. Um, this was just like a little dewy moisturizer that I used. Again, not a favorite, but I did want to use it all up to not be wasteful. Um, this was in my June Shop My Stash, I believe. And then this is something that actually, uh, this is a mini size, and I this lasted for quite some time um, and something I really did enjoy. This is the um, Polish Choice Exfoliate Skin Perfecting 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant with salicylic acid. And it is supposed to unclog and shrink in large pores, smooth and even skin tone. Um, this I actually really did enjoy. Like I said, it's a mini size. It lasted for quite some time. Um, so I would, I might pick this up again. I might pick it up again. I know I have some other things that have like BHA um, stuff in there, but I really, really did enjoy this. The only con about this is it kind of smells like, um, like nail polish remover. So if you're really sensitive to smells, you might not like that. Um, but to each their own. This is the Grown Alchemist Polishing Facial Exfoliant in Pink Grapefruit. Um, so it has kind of this unique aluminum packaging, which I think is fun, but also not necessarily practical because you get to a point where like it starts breaking on the sides and like coming out the sides. Um, this was a nice gentle exfoliant that I used in the shower. You can, I used it on my face, I used it on my body. Um, again, something I think I picked up in one of my boxes. This is the Skin & Co. Uh, truffle Therapy Whipped Polishing Cleansing Cream with Truffle Extract. Um, this was a really nice creamy uh, cleanser. Again, used it in the shower as kind of like a second cleanse. Um, 
it was nice. Kind of neutral coconut smelling almost. Um, made in Italy. Let's see. Gentle yet effective cleanser and makeup remover that is highly concentrated with antioxidants and skin smoothing, soothing botanical extracts to renew dry and dull skin. Um, packed with black truffle extract and sweet almond oil. That's what I'm smelling. Um, is full of essential fatty acids and delivers intense hydration while improving skin resilience and tone. So that is something I did notice. I didn't get dry with this one like I did with the other one. So if you have an issue with getting um, like kind of that tight feeling from cleansers, this might be a good one for you to kind of not experience that. So next one is the Tula Skincare Signature Glow Refreshing and Brightening Face Mist. Um, as you can see, it kind of has this like pearlescent powder down here in this ball. Um, I use this, I didn't use it as a makeup setting spray. I use it more as a refreshing spray or kind of a primer spray um, to give you that glow. Um, again, this isn't like rev... I don't want to say it's not revolutionary, but it didn't like revolutionize my routine. Um, so not something I'm definitely running out to get, although I do like Tula as a skincare brand. Um, and I am working through another cleanser of theirs at this moment. But if this is, if you like refreshing sprays, like I would use this with my serums. Like if they have hyaluronic acid in them, you want to have some sort of moisture on your skin. So the hyaluronic acid uses that to plump instead of using or the moisture in your skin, which can kind of dry you out even more. Um, so that's how I would use this. Another pharmacy product, this is the Honeymoon Glow Body 12% AHA BHA Resurfacing, Resurfacing Serum with Honey and Prickly Pear. Um, this is really nice. It smells really nice. Oh, it smells like honey. So nice. I love pharmacy products. Um, so again, I use this about maybe once every two, three days in between, and I think it softened the skin. I didn't necessarily notice any like resurfacing. Um, it states that is this resurfacing and hydrating body serum softens rough skin and helps eliminate bumps with 10% lactic acid, 2% BHA, helps improve texture and tone for smoother glowing skin. Apply to clean skin, use two to, two to three times a week. Um, and you made up, may build up to more frequent use, slight tingling may be experienced, don't use on the face. Um, so I don't, like it did definitely help with hydration. I don't know if necessarily notice any like skin resurfacing, but again, maybe I like, it's kind of hard with these products because I feel like once you like, you need a whole bottle to actually start seeing results and then you need another bottle to like continue with the results. So I don't know if one bottle was enough, but it was a very nice lotion um, and it smelled wonderful. This is something I'm, I may have talked about before, I can't remember. This is the Brazilian Bear Shave Syrup um, Luxurious Shaving Concentrate for Salon Smooth Skin. This is intended for bikini area, legs, and underarms. Provides the smoothest, most comfortable shave, eliminates ingrown hairs and razor bumps, botanically infused antioxidant formula and free of synthetic fragrances. This smells phenomenal, like very luscious vanilla. Um, this has really helped uh, eliminate any sort of ingrowns, any sort of um, cuts or, you know, anything like that, bumps with, with shaving. Um, this is, I already have another bottle, which I think I'm almost already out of. Um, so this is something that I will continue to repurchase. Uh, I think I got it from Target. So really, oh my gosh, I just noticed it's from, it's from Tucson. I have no, I had no idea. That's cool. Okay. You know, buying local. Um, so this is something I truly, truly recommend if you have any issues with like shaving, like all of a sudden I started getting a lot of cuts and bumps and, and whatnot. And I'm sure it has something to do with the razor as well, but I really do enjoy that. Um, this is Neom Organics Perfect Night Sleep Magnesium Body Butter with English Lavender, Sweet Basil, and Jasmine. And again, it's it's a body lotion that is supposed to help you um, like sleep better. This is a trial size, so I didn't notice any sort of uh, assistance with sleep. Um, it's supposed to be absorbed into the skin. Um, it smelled nice, but I didn't notice any because it's so teeny tiny. Maybe you need a lot of it. 
so I don't know if I would necessarily recommend this but you know if you like body butters that have nice smells and can potentially help you go to sleep then this might be for you all right this is one of my favorites this is herbivore bacuchiol um it's a retinol alternative smoothing serum so i have relatively sensitive skin retinol is really great for resurfacing your skin um kind of bringing sloughing off the dead cells and regenerating new cells to come up um bacuchiol is a retinol alternative so it's kind of safer for sensitive skin i want to say this is the second little bottle i've gone through um something i really do enjoy something i have repurchased i think i have it in my stash already so yeah this one is a biro tomato serum um so i know that there's some left in there but this is definitely um expired i do really love the top on it though like so you pull the top and that becomes the little pump top which is nice um i got this from box charm i think again i think this retails for like 125 dollars um i picked it up for like nine dollars or something like that and it's it's nothing super fabulous it doesn't smell like tomatoes at all i think it just has the properties of tomatoes um that are supposed to be good for you i don't really know what the claims are because it doesn't really say but i've had this in my collection forever and as you can tell i still have some left but it is probably very very expired let's talk about some makeup products so this is the elf poreless putty primer now i used a good chunk of it but it is not my favorite i just can't get down with it um I just don't think it does what it's supposed to do in my opinion so I'm going to be decluttering this one um this other thing is bite beauty the agave uh what is it the agave lip balm um so bite beauty is no longer a company I think they just went out of business um so if you like anything from bite beauty make sure you're going to pick it up on super sale just know that it is going to be discontinued um, so as you can tell, I dug my nail in there. So what I don't like about this, <laughs> it doesn't really matter cause you can't buy it anymore, but, um, this was a super soft pressed lip balm. So, I mean, it does its job. I really like how it's very hydrating. Um, it's a very great lip balm, but I did not like how it was packaged because it was so soft. So you'd put it on and it would just get smeary everywhere. I, it like, literally, I feel like I use this up in two weeks because you don't get a lot of product in there. You literally have to, I mean, you have to dig inside of it to get half the product out. So something I wouldn't repurchase in this packaging, but you know, if they had it in a pot form, I think that'd be better. A foundation I actually used up. How exciting. Um, so this is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. This is the mini version of it all. Um, this is in shade five. This is a beautiful, beautiful foundation. I will be, will be repurchasing um, in the future. I always got so many compliments on this. Um, so again, it's like it says, luminous silk foundation. It's not over oily. It just kind of gives you a nice dewy, um, not even dewy, just luminous glow. Like not oily, just luminous. Um, so I will be picking this up again in the future. But I have a ton of foundations that I'm going through. So I need to like, put a you know put a pause on that one right now um this is a mini charlotte tilbury pillow talk push-up lashes so what i really liked about this was the wand and i think i've shared about this before so how the wand is is like one side is more flat than the other as you can see and so i really liked this applicator but the formula was terrible so, I mean, this made my lashes look beautiful, like probably the best they've ever looked, but it smudges, it smears, it flakes. So I couldn't get behind that. And so she had to go. All right. Only a few more products left. What was this? Crabtree and Evelyn, excuse me, um, Harvest Hand Cream. Um, I honestly can't remember. I think I got this in a boxy charm. Smells really nice says it's a blend of sunflower oil chia oil and barrage oil um so yeah i mean it's nice nice little travel size hand lotion if that's what you're into 
Um, this is something also that I'm decluttering because I just don't, I, I don't use it very regularly and it's probably expired by now. This is the First Aid Beauty Eye Duty Niacinamide nice Brightening Cream. Um, I am not very great about using eye creams very regularly, so again, that's why it expired, as well as when I did use it, I just don't feel like it like did very much for the brightening part of it all, um, so this is going to be gone, but I do love some other first aid beauty products, just not that one. Um, this is just like a little derma blender. I can't, oh, it's from Flawless. I think this is also something I picked up at Marshall's, like in a six pack. It's just like a little, little razor on one side to kind of derma plane your own face, kind of get those peach fuzzes off. This is um, really nice. I can use it a few times before it gets a little too dull for me and there's really no way you can resharpen it. Um, so, but I do like these. And then the very last product is the Philosophy Hope in a Jar Skin Resurrection Overnight Power Hydrator. Um, this has mer Merame's Plant and Enhanced Hyaluronic Acid. Um, basically, it's a hydrator, hydrator um, to use more in the evening time because it's a little bit thicker. Um, so again, this was nice. I used it all up. I think I got this from Influencer. Um, which is a um, a company that will send uh, PR to people in exchange for reviews. And so I got it from them. It was a good product. I think I rated it pretty highly. Um, but yeah, nothing, not, again, not running out to purchase it again because I have a lot of hydrators, but it was really nice if you like this brand. So with that, that is all the products I have used thus far from March to, what are we, what is today? July 25th. Um, I told myself I was going to try to do these a little bit more quarterly and I meant to do this at the end of June, but you know, life gets in the way. Um, so here it is. So yeah, tell me what you think. Have you tried these products before? Do you like them? Do you not like them? What products are you interested in trying? Again, I do have some coupon codes to save you a little bit of money, um, with the Christoph Robin, uh, I think there was something else in here as well that I can't, I'm not seeing off the, off, off the top of my head, but I will have everything linked down below for you. Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. Um, please consider subscribing, watching some of my other empty videos. Um, on this channel, we talk a lot about all things beauty as well, so, as well as reselling. So if those are things that you enjoy watching, please consider subscribing, liking the video. I'll be seeing you in my next one. Bye.